on this challenge, all right, of, um, well, it's, it's Half Saturday here, all right, and so we're broadcasting here on Halfs, but it's being shared out to um, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Periscope, and Facebook, so it's going out to so a couple different areas on Facebook, so hopefully y'all come in. If you're watching this on the replay, please type in hashtag replay. It is Haps Chocolate Saturday here today, so we're doing Haps Chocolate or Chocolate Saturday, and when I was, when they said it was going to be chocolate, I'm like, oh man, I'm not going to be able to eat chocolate because, um, you know, I can't make a whole lot. And so I first went to the Pamper Chef recipes. I'm like, mm, no way, no way. And then I went to the, even the Weight Watcher recipes because I'm on Weight, Wa uh, Weight Watchers. And I've lost 50 pounds in the last two years. And I want to keep it off. So I don't want to uh, have 18 servings of three points because you know I'm going to eat them all, right? And uh, Aiden said, well, why don't you make that chocolate banana dessert that you made a while back? I'm like, Huh, why didn't I think of that, you know, because I'm always looking for something new, but uh, this is a really simple, uh, easy dessert that you can make. Hello, hello, Christine. I don't know where everybody is. So um, it's a really simple, easy dessert to make. It is it is slightly sweet. It's not like overly sweet. So if you're one of those people who say, oh, this is too sweet, this is definitely for you. The only uh, people that won't be able to eat this dessert are diabetics because it's made with bananas. But these bananas are pretty, they're not as ripe as I want them to be, but they are ripe, okay? So you need them to be a little bit ripe on there. Hey, Missy Mouse, how are you doing? Hello, Melanie. Thanks for all coming in. So this was a challenge for me to like come up with a recipe that I can make a small amount or enough amount that I'm not going to go overboard on my eating. Okay. Hey, Aaron, thank you for the safe, safe award. And, uh, it's a recipe that I found on, I believe YouTube and it's just called the two ingredient healthy brownies. All right. I don't think these are brownies. Okay. They are, this is, this is fake. I don't know they think they could have come up with a better to topic. It's really two ingredient chocolate dessert because it's just made of, again just bananas and chocolate and I was going to use my blender over there and just pray it up it would take two two uh, it would only be uh, that would be too simple all right so you can use this you can mash up your bananas in the blender over there in your ninjas using your beaters your blenders or you can use the old-fashioned mix and mash okay so hey Kim yes yay for help this is healthy this is so healthy you're going to fall off unless you're a diabetic that's the only one that you can't do this one how right the riper the better okay um let's see so this one called uh, and i'm going to add in so i made this re recipe the exact way just using those two ingredients it was more um uh thicker than pudding but less dense than flan all right so i'm trying to give you the description of of how it's not like dense like a brownie it doesn't have that you know that texture of a brownie it has a texture more of a um uh, flan. That's all I can think of. And then I thought the next time I'm going to add some pea protein into it. Okay. And Pampered Chef has pea protein. All right. And it was delicious and it actually thickened it up a little bit. So it even made it better because one, we're getting a little protein into it. All right. Into, if you put protein into your dessert, you're like, yeah, I'm going to be feel. I won't have to eat this. Uh, I love your cute wavy bangs and uh, my wavy bangs are, we were just having, we're just having a humidity spell here and I, uh, it's just a mess. My hair is a mess y'all. So anyway, and I got, I got my, um, my, uh, we call these the whisk earrings here. Cause it goes great with my shirt that says I get paid to, uh, cook, eat and party with pampered chef. And it has the little whisk that Matt, Anyway, y'all, y'all figure that one out. <laughs> anyway, so the pea protein is by Pampered Chef. Now, I did get the Weight Watcher protein, the vanilla one, but I don't like the artificial flavor that it has. It leaves an aftertaste. And th that would be great in there. And there's some other protein things out there. But I would definitely add a little bit of the protein into this mixture because it firms it up a little bit. And it gets a little bit more like um, it, like a melty fudge consistency okay that's all i can say i'm trying to make it give a good description of this all right now you can make it with or without the chocolate topping but the chocolate topping on it is to die for y'all all right it is made with um uh, the topping on it if you want to do it is made with coconut oil and it's the coconut oil that's the solid the solid coconut oil not the liquid co coconut oil because you want it to firm up all right it's also made with maple syrup but don't put this in until the end otherwise it, it this maple syrup thickens that uh consensus the um oil up and then also cocoa powder on top all right now if you are a vegan 
go ahead and use your cacao powder, all right? Um, so I'm just giving you different options of how we do this, all right? So the first thing we need to do is get a, um, uh, a container to make it in. And I'm using my glass container. This is a leak-proof container by Pampered Chef. And what's really good about this is that it comes with a lid. And after I'm done with it, like when it when I want, because I'm not going to eat it all today, you can actually put the lid on it and it leak proof and uh, put it in your refrigerator and keep it chilled like this, okay? This comes in a set. It does have the, uh, that's not the right one. It has the, the uh, this is a five cup one and it has a three cup and then I have the eight cup in there. I have the eight cup with the um, uh, eggs we made yesterday. All right, there you go. I made the eggs, we made the eggs. This is the eight cup one, all right? So uh, eight, eight cup, five cup, and a three cup. We're using this one and you need to line this pan with parchment, all right? The parchment allows you to pull the dessert out when it's done. Do not do put it, put it right in here. You need the parchment, okay? I'm gonna flip this around. I'm gonna put the parchment in it. I did cut two pieces. One goes the long way and one goes this way. You love your spritzers? I love that spritzer too. Those containers, yeah, these containers are excellent. Um, when, when I used to go to work, I used to put my uh, salads or soups in here and uh, making the left-hand turn. Uh, yeah, usually everything slides up. My lunchbox should always slide off my car seat. Yeah, I just make those hard left-hand turns. So let's flip us around and we're gonna um, get our container container ready first all right before we start mashing up and again it's just two ingredients so this is super easy and super quick that you can make at home for your family all right uh or just for yourself too all right and they will like it okay you're gonna put your parts i already cut some off you're gonna put it in here but you see the parchment this one doesn't go all over i think i, I this one's gonna go this way we're gonna do it this way all right now you can cut your parchment. Don't let it like hang over the sides. All right. Like this. See like that. And then we're going to get a scissors. All right. And we're just going to cut our parchment. Just leave about, you know, a quarter of an inch, an inch on the uh, over overhang. Okay. Because we're going to use this. Don't throw these scraps away because you can use them for something else, which I'm going to show you what we're going to use them for after we get this done. All right. So put it over. All right. And when it's done, uh, you're going to let it go to the refrigerator and let it chill. And we're going to come back later on tonight and I'm going to show you what it looks like when it firms up. But when it comes out, I'm actually going to take it out so you can lift it like this. I'm going to put a new parchment in because when it's done um, and it's fill, fir, firmed up, there's moisture down here and you want it nice. You don't want the moisture all the way down there. So, and you'll see what I mean. It's very moist. All right. So I have another, another one that goes the long way. Okay. okay, this is just doubling it, all right? So I think I got a good amount there. And try and get it into all the nooks and crannies. There. All right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be like flush or anything, but the flusher the better. All right. So I'm just trying to get it. So we're doing this from scratch. I usually have this done up. Um, the last couple times that we we're doing this dessert. So we have our parchment with our, our glass, okay? And we're gonna put that off to the side because that's ready to go when we put in our, our stuff. So I have my eight cup <laughs> batter bowl being used for the soup that we made yesterday. So this is the, the small batter bowl that's four cups. And we're just gonna get our bananas and the bananas are quite ripe and we're gonna get four bananas. Yeah, and these are yucky bananas. I got these bananas on sale for 39 cents, y'all. And I still have to go get two more bananas for the de uh, another dessert we're doing tonight with the chocolate in it, okay? This one here is a nasty one. Look at this. This is nasty bananas, y'all. Nasty. But we're just going to mash these babies up. And again, you can use your mixers. You can use your blender. I don't need, I get that part out there. I'll put that in the sink. Get the other one. All right. And we're going to mash these babies up. I think I'm going to wait on the, the fourth one, y'all. Okay, there we go. Get these strings off. You don't want the strings in there. They don't they don't break down as well. All right. So we got three in there right now. Again, I could put this in the blender and just blend it up and then it would it would take like seconds to do it. All right. And you're just gonna get your your uh, masher and you can get your um uh manual food processor in here. You can get your food processors, make it in there. You're just going to mash it down. Now we have the mash this really, really good y'all. Okay. And again, I could have put it in the blender and it would have been like <laughs> done, 
but I thought, well, we have time with y'all. We have an hour to cook this, all right? And it only cooks uh, in about 30, uh, 25 to 30 minutes, okay? All right, there you go. Mash, mash, mash. All depends how ripe your bananas are will depend upon your cooking uh, also. I'm not able to join all broadcasts as I'm on vacation, says Anne. Thank you, Rand. So I want that masher. Yeah, this masher is really good because uh, it does mashed potatoes, mashes these bananas up. You see me use this one quite often, especially when I make those uh, healthy oatmeal blueberry lemon um, muffins. Uh, we, we mash everything up with the with the masher. And again, this has to be really, really mashed up great. Okay, we got some of that done. We got the fourth one going in here. And this one's pretty nasty. Oh, this one's really nasty, y'all. There we go. Let's put that in. It's pretty firm. I'm going to get all this out. Some of it's really mushy. All right, got all that. Get that part out. I want that one in. There. All right. Keep mashing, Alexis. Now you can't. We can't get our blender uh, or our mixers out and, and mix this up too. That would work because we really want it as fine as you want, as you can get it. Okay. All right. And you know what, me? I like to do it really fast. I would just get the blender and put the blender, put it in the blender, y'all. But that makes noise. And who wants to wake up everybody? I sort of want to get the the mixer out too. The mixer would be great. But we're doing it the old fashioned way, okay? Which is just now if it's if it does have chunks, you just your chocolate's not going to be as fine. Um, it's not you're going to see the chunks of the of the bananas in here. All right. Are you still coming on today? Says Aiden to Anne. Those bananas, yeah. These the 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 they should even be a little bit um uh, more ripe than this, but that's it's okay. I didn't think they. I thought they would ripen up a little bit quicker. The one was overripe. Okay. And I remember doing this the last time we were here, like five, 10 minutes mashing these bananas up because you don't want any of the chunks in here. And I may break down and just get the um, mixer out and just do the mixer. But what time do we have? Oh, it's only 19 minutes after. All right. Let's try that. All right, I think I can get the mixer out. Okay. Uh, it, it does break it down, but I got to have 30 minutes to cook this. We'll see how it works. Okay. I like our lumpy chocolate pudding today. Still tastes good though. I know. <laughs> well, I like it very parade. Uh, the finer it is, the better this dessert is. Uh, you, let's say your hand's going to get a good workout here. Okay. Of mashing it. Okay. And this this is designed that it goes right against the edges of your pan right there, of your jar. All right. So this is a great dessert for anybody that is on Weight Watchers or trying to lose their lose weight. There's no sugar in here. There's no eggs. There's no flour. All right. So it's an optimal dessert if you um, can eat bananas. All right. Hello, Mike. How are you doing? Take your time, Alexis. I'm sticking to 12. Oh, yeah. I don't have any anybody behind me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All. Yeah, we have, um, it's not like somebody's coming up behind me. Here's our schedule for today. We have me, then 11 o'clock, we're empty, so I don't have to rush. Brenda's at 12, Jay at 1, Gemma at 2, Anne and Swift Beats at 3. Mike Costi, he's here, he's at 4. Diane, I don't know, I don't know. Daniel, Fostio, and Lizzie Bear, I don't know those. 5, Darby, 6. I'm coming back at 7 to show you how to finish this up and to make something else. And then DJ is on it not at eight and then chocolate johnny uh way down under these are way over in australia it's already sunday there it's at 9 p.m tonight okay and we're all here on that uh, um haps uh network or the next haps app which allows you to share your broadcast to other apps okay and uh okay so we can take our time i was thinking i had somebody else behind me <laughs> you're staying safe alexis that tornado yes oh my gosh onion muffin we did. We had a tornado. It was over near the base, which is across the um, the uh, river. We have a I forget the name of the river there. Uh, it was it's it was and there's all there was also one down in St. Mary's, um, Georgia, which was not. It was like a couple two streets over from the main street is what up here. And they told us not to go anywhere near those places because they had to clean it all up. You hear my dog? He's he's getting his breakfast and his drink. All right. 
All right, no problem. All right, so I, I thought we were gonna have to rush or get that mixer out. And, and, and again, you can put this in your blender and it'll be done by now, okay? And you just put it right in. So if you're pressed for time, that's what, definitely put it in your blender, bring out your mixer, okay? We're just having a lovely time talking to y'all, okay? Oh my, yeah, oh my goodness, that's right. And then we had really heavy rain yesterday. I was out, um, I did my driveway. I got the um, pressure washer and it has this big round like thing that you pressure wash your driveway with. And I was out there doing it after I got done my 10,000 of steps and, um, I was like, I wish it would rain so it could wash away the dirt that got, you know, piled up because I was sweeping it after I got done with the pressure washer um, gadget. It, well, I ran out of gas. Um, I, I was using the broom to get the water off the off the um, driveway. And then after that, I went outside. And I was sitting outside in the sun for 15 minutes and then a cloud came. I thought, well, I'm, I'm done. It's 15 minutes is good. And so um uh, I went in, inside and got my, got cleaned up and I'm sitting there and I asked my mom, do you hear thunder? And she, she didn't, she didn't hear me. And so it was, it was a big thunderstorm it came up within 30 minutes of when I went into the house. I was like, wow, I asked for rain and it rained y'all. All right. So you see how this is coming up. It still has like uh, chunks on there. We still mash it. Okay. And this is a great thing if you want to do it with your kids, just to, to keep mashing. Okay. Again, the finer the consistency on this thing, the better off it's going to be at the end. All right. If you have these chunks in here, then you're going to have chunks in the brownie mix. All right. And like I said, I've done this recipe at least two times or maybe three times before. I think maybe four. It was in, uh, uh, we did this at, at Valentine's Day for an alternative dessert. All right. So again, just put it in the blender. It's going to go, it's going to make it really, really um, super fine. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hello, Sarah is, a, is on Facebook land. How are you doing, Sarah? All right. I don't have my, my laptop on, so I'm just doing it from my phone here. Okay. And we are, all this is, is bananas, bananas. So if you have a baby, you can mash up your own bananas, y'all. <laughs> I never knew that. But that's how you get, you know, baby food. Just mash it up. This one has little tiny chunks in it. Okay. See that? See how it's like little tiny chunks right here? We want to get that out. We want to get that really soft. Okay. Let's get this. All right. Hey, Monica's in the house now. We can start the show. Monica's here. That's that's uh, Aiden's girlfriend in Texas. <laughs> She's just a friend. That's a girl, y'all. <laughs> Oh, she's happily married and has kids. Uh, there we go. It's like making applesauce. Okay, so, and we're just doing this by hand, y'all. This is just by hand. All right. All right, let's see. Oh, uh, it's five, five. It, we've been doing this for six minutes or seven minutes now. All right. And people are going to say, what is she doing making that thing? We're just doing it by hand. Again, you can put it right in your blender and it'll mash it right up. But then that would be too simple to show you. And then you won't be here talking to me, right? Hello. <laughs> Monica's laughing. Uh, hello from Loveland. There's Darby. Darby will be on today at 6 p.m. East Coast time. Darby has a great setup for her um, broadcast. She always has immaculate broadcast. I'm like all over the place. I have one phone and that's it. <laughs> right there. And my counter, my counters are very, very uh, small. All right. All right. Should I get the blender out and blend it up and make it really, really fine? Mm. We're just mashing our bananas, Darby. We're doing a healthy um, Weight Watcher friendly dessert just made with two ingredients, but we're going to add in some other ingredients um, here, such as pea protein. All right. So you see, it's like nicely consistent. We're not getting as many of those little things. And you will see the white, the, these little white spots if you don't mash it up uh, good enough. All right. old-fashioned way of doing this okay so what's going on today we're having haps uh chocolate saturday and we have about 13 broadcasters actually um there's actually more than that uh because some of them are doubling up and um they're from 
three different continents, six different countries are broadcasting today here on HAPS on chocolate. And you can do chocolate anything. If you want to do chocolate chili, we can do chocolate chili. We don't have to say with desserts. And I was looking at all the stuff I could make with chocolate. And I'm like, I don't want to eat that. And that has too many points. So we came up with this recipe. Aiden said, why don't you just do that one? I'm like, okay. All right. So you see how it's, it's really coming along. And again, the blender would have been a much better, quicker option, but then you wouldn't be, I'm just giving you different alternative ways of, of mashing up your bananas. Okay. That's a big one right there. All right. Just get to the consistency you want that you don't want all these little pieces like that. Cause those pieces will show up white in your chocolate. Okay. I want to do a chocolate sauce with barbecue chicken. You know, sometimes they say you put the, the chocolate sauce into, or the chocolate powder into some of your sauces and it just brings out a richness to it. And um, I'm gonna add some vanilla into this mixture here because the vanilla brings out the chocolate flavor. And so this isn't part of the original recipe. The original recipe is just the chocolate. Let me put this off to the side. I'm going to show you what two different chocolates I'm using, okay? I'm using Hershey cocoa, all right? I'm from Pennsylvania. Hershey was part of our life growing there, growing up there. Went to Hershey Park on, on several different uh, amusement parks. Uh, hey, Zen Squad, thank you for the, um, wow, I don't know what that word is. I cannot read the black word right under Gabe. Creative Genius Award. So this one here is our regular chocolate, cacao chocolate, 100%. This one here is dark special. I like the combination of both. You can use all of one or one, all the other or do a combination. We're going to do a combination of these. And this recipe, again, it's from um, this company or this website called Kirby Cravings, and it's two ingredients, healthy brownies. However, these do not have the consistency of brownies. It's more of a chocolate dessert, okay? And it says prep time, 10 minutes, cook time, um, 25 minutes. So yeah, prep time is about 10 minutes because we're trying to mash this down. And they, and they even said, you can put this in a blender mixer or wherever you want to put it okay and again if you have any of those white little spots on here they will show up in in the dessert okay i think the one time i used a blender on it it would parade up really great all right we're going to stick with our our thing right here all right so we got that we're going to put in here six tablespoons of chocolate um powder okay i'm going to do three of the cacao all right, three of these and a level tablespoon. Okay, level, not not overpowering. There's one. This is not a tablespoon. I'm going to show you what this is not a tablespoon. It is over. It has too much in it. Okay, so a level, level, and I'm using the lid to scrape it off. Okay, there's three on that one. And we're gonna get the other one. And this one makes it really dark. Okay, this was the, the dark semi, the special chart, dark. It's, it's, so it's a little bit more bitter, okay? Use whatever chocolate you want, including your cacao powder. I'm sure that would work with this, all right? And I probably could have si sifted this if Barnes was here. He would say, sift your flour. I'm like, oh, well, we're gonna mix this in. Let's get our whisk and just whisk this in. And now we made it chocolate, y'all. Okay. There we go. Look at that. And besides this, we're going to also be putting in some pea protein to make it a little bit healthier than what it already is. Okay. There we go. Oh, brother. We have our, our lovely person in here. All right. So we're going to use Enrichables pea protein and we're going to put in, I don't know. almost done with. I'm going to empty that in the other one. All right. Wonderful tips, SJ. What a great viewership you have, Diva, Diva, Diva. I'm not sure about that. So we're going to put in here at least, I don't know, I'm going to probably play with six of our pea protein. I used to, I did put four in because it's about four servings on here. I mean, how many servings? Eight brownies. <laughs> Makes eight. Okay. Was that three? Four. Five. And six. Now this is going to actually, um, 
thicken it up also on here. Okay. I'm going to try and stir it in again. Stir it in and then mix it in. All right. I got it. I'm on it. I'm, I'm... <laughs> oh my gosh. Hold on a second. Watch that for a sec. Got that taken care of, y'all. Sorry for the for this delay. Hopefully, you had a good rest break. All right, I'm gonna mix this all together. There we go. I get the scraper out. And let's get one of these, my favorite scraper. Get off to the side. We're gonna scrape the sides on here. Get all that in. All right. I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla in this one too. Okay. There we go. All right, so this one's a little bit lumpier than normal. And again, you can put it in the blender and it'll be um, lickety split. I'm gonna add in one um, teaspoon of vanilla in here. Okay, now this is not part of the original recipe, so I'll make it in my own with the pea protein. All right, there we go. And the vanilla, all right, there we go. I'm gonna have to take a trip down to Aldi's to get some more vanilla. I'm running low on vanilla, all right. There we go. That's really good. Almost. I like the consistency of pudding that's not all the way mixed up. All right. But in the blender, it will be like puree of, um, it will look, the consistency would be a lot better. Okay. Let's see if I can. Get that there. I'm going to get my masher out and keep mashing for a little bit longer. Okay. I was salivating over your chocolate batter. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. All right. So again, um, if I were you, I'd probably just put this in your blender and blend it all up. And uh, and we can try that because we still have always oh, we're running we're running out of time. My oven is heated to three hundred and fifty degrees. Okay. I remember when I was doing this the first time like this. Uh, we kept on saying, "Just keep mashing, keep mashing." <laughs> So it will get like the consistency of pudding, all right? And that's what it's looking like right, right now, like pudding. But when you put it in the oven, you're gonna cook it for about, uh, it says 20 to 25 minutes. And so check it at 20, and it may go to 25, it may even go to 30, depending upon the how old your bananas are, all right? My chocolate mousse needs a bit longer in the fridge. Okay, there you go. If anybody wants to come up, they can come up and, uh, you can say hello. There you go. You can show your, your desserts if you already have them. Or come up and uh, put up your emojis. Okay, put emojis up here on HAPS if you are broadcasting today so that people can follow you. Okay. Oh, thank you, Jay, for the uh, yummy award. All right, it's just not even yummy yet. Let's do a little bit more. My arm is getting a workout, but it is getting really thin, like, uh, like thinner, like pudding-ish feel. It is definitely mixed up. All right. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. All right. All right. I'm satisfied with that. Hopefully you are. Again, if you put it in your, in your blender, it will be 100% faster, all right? And you'd be lickety split. I think, I think I might do this one again and just put it in the blender like that and see how quick it comes up. All right, so you see how the consistency is, all right? If you put it in your blender, it's going to come out looking just like pudding, all right? Uh, oops, let's put that over there. Put my lids on stuff and get our, our bowl out. All right, so we're going to put it in our five-cup leak proof container and just add it right in there's nothing going in you're just putting it right in 
All right. Out. All right. And once it's done, I will let it cool down in the parchment itself, but I will uh, replace the parchment with new parchment because there's usually liquid. It gets moisture underneath it. All right. So replace your parchment after you get it done and then after it's chilled. This is going to take a few hours. It's not like it's going to be done. As soon as it comes out of the oven, it will still have a jiggly consistency. And you see how I scrape it out of the bowl? I love these scrapers, y'all. It is good to last drop. If I'm going to count calories, I want, I want every every calorie that's in the bowl. All right. There we go. There's, there's really no bowl liquors at my house, okay? And it's actually going to go right into the sink and put the water on it. There we go. Tear that off. There we go. All right. And I'm going to tap this down. Good enough. All right. You're going to tap it. It's just letting it settle so it's nice and even. Okay. That troll has a lot of accounts, don't they? There you go. Y'all are doing a good job because I didn't even see any of those, okay? Hello, Hannah, over on uh, Twitter. I don't know where you are. I'm testing here Twitter Looks um, to look for that troll. All right, so if you, um, uh, yeah, if you if take a screenshot and just, uh, I got I got the one on YouTube, the two of them, okay? Just got the scrape, scraper set, says St. John. Yeah! The scraper sets are great. I'm telling you, they're the best scrapers ever. And if they get discolored, all you do is put some Bon Ami or Barkeeper's Friend on there. And um, uh, and if it still has it, you put it out in the sun and it bleaches it back. All right. So this is nice and and uh, coated. Let me get that. Let me get the little skinny scraper. It's my 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 next step um, thing. All right, so it is, it's not as has, uh, fine as I really wanted it to be because it's not in a blender. I just did it by hand. But I want to show you that you can do it without uh, all the big tools. You can do it with a little um, mixer, a handheld thing. All right. All right, so this is going to go. I did taste that. It tastes great. Uh, this is going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. All right. And I'm going to put this, put this in the oven. So let me put you down here. Oops. We'll open up my oven. All right. I have my little uh, racks right there. Those are protectors. And let me see if I can pick this up and put it right inside. We're putting it right into the oven, right in the middle. Oh, there we go. Right in the middle of the oven. There you go. And just close it up. All right. And let's set the timer. Alexa, set the timer for 22 minutes. 22 minutes. I think it's going to take now. longer than that. All right. Let's see if we put this one over here. Ooh, that's not going to stay. Ah, the lighting here is just atrocious. <laughs> there we go. I don't know if that's going to work. Ooh. All right. So we're back. How are y'all doing today? Whew, that was a lot, y'all. All right. So we had the pea protein that we put in there. It's two ingredients. You just put that those bananas in that blender. And then uh, put in your uh, cocoa powder and you're done. All right. But... For me, I went. I wanted to take it to the next level, and I wanted it to be a little bit more healthy for me, my dessert. And so I added my pea protein in there. All right. I also added one uh, teaspoon of vanilla in there. Your favorite vanilla. All right. And so this is um, a simple recipe that you can make, and it's it's going to take um, twenty five about twenty five minutes for this to cook in the oven. And when it comes out, it's still going to have that jiggle. It's not going to set like a cake. All right, because it's not a cake consistency. There is no eggs, there's no flour, and there's no sugar in this recipe. All right, so it's good for most people. Even vegans can use their cacao powder. Uh, vegetarians, no problem on that one. Uh, the only person, the only type of person that would may have to like figure this one out is the diabetics, because diabetics, the sugar, the bananas. But 
Some diabetics can have bananas, and these, the riper the banana, the more sugar content that's in it. All right. Let me, I'm trying to get, wipe up my thing because I have chocolate all over here. Chocolate powder one. A uh, little, little places where it's not supposed to. All right. All right. So what questions do you have for me? All right. I'm going to go back and read your comments now because I didn't get them. Death by chocolate. Wink, wink, says Aiden, uh, Jay to Aiden. All right. Thank you so much, Jay, for the yummy award. I'm going to go back to the beginning and read the comments. All right. Oh, man, there's a lot. All right. Good morning, Missy Mouse. Good morning, Melanie. How are you doing? Hello, Brenda is in the house. Andrea, good morning on, on Facebook. How are you doing? I love your cute wavy bangs and earrings. Thank you, Kim. Uh, we got that one. I, um, I want the recipe for the topping, please. All right. The topping on this one. Um, and the recipe is actually posted in my uh, HAPS profile. This, this whole thing right here is already posted. I put the link in there last night so you can go along with me. The chocolate frosting for this calls for two tablespoons of coconut oil, all right? And we're not gonna do this until seven o'clock tonight when I come back. Uh, a quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa powder or cacao powder, all right? And then uh, two tablespoons of maple syrup. And that's the topping and you're gonna put it on top and it's gonna solidify and it's gonna have that nice little crunch of the chocolate, like when it breaks, you know, the little chocolate frosting. It's more of a good, like a ganache. It's more of a ganache uh, topping. All right, uh, the container. Okay, I like the glass containers. Thank you. Hey, Anne's in the house. She's on vacation this week. Melanie wants the masher. There you go. Uh, take your time. Okay, we got stay safe. Yep, we got the tornadoes here. There, thank God. The banana sauce muffin. <laughs> banana sauce. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, what's going on today? We have chocolate uh, Saturday. Hey, onion chocolate pasta. Interesting. Hello, Tony Bay. I haven't seen you in a long time. Where have you been, girl? Uh, let's see. Christine, thank you for the creative award. Uh, wonderful tips, Alexis says, Jay. What a great viewership we have, says D uh, David. <laughs> I don't know about that, Jay. Uh, moderators, yes, we have a lot of moderators in here. Um, I actually have about 30 moderators. Hey, Deb's in the house. How are you doing, Deb? Uh, it does look good. I want to stick my face in that, in that bowl, says Missy Mouse. <laughs> We want to eat it when it's cooked, actually, Missy Mouse. My chocolate mousse needs a bit longer, says um, Aiden. Let's see. Jay, thank you for the yummy award. Jay, what are you making? Asks Aiden. Hello, Kristen. Uh, Kristen's Texas Snow Bunny from Irving, Texas. How are you doing? Uh, St. John, uh, Pablo, Harley, Harley Gochi OG, St. John. She got her scraper set. Yeah, they're the best. Hello, everybody on HAPS. I'm testing here on Twitter, says Hannah. I guess the troll is in red. No, the troll is in YouTube. And I got him. Aunt B's in the house. How are you doing? Uh, yum, Monica. Uh, do you make stuff that Blessis makes, says Hannah to Monica? I think she does. Uh, that soup yesterday, my mom ate it, y'all. <laughs> that uh, red lentil and spinach soup, she ate it. I have uh, about three cups left right now. Uh, good lighting as usual, says Ma Mike. I'm not sure about the light. I have I have a new bright light right here. So it's like, ooh, it's right in your face here. That earrings, I call them, yeah, they are the whisk earrings. These are paparazzi earrings and it comes with a beautiful necklace. However, if I wear the necklace, it looks like I, my necklace goes from my ears down. So I, when I wear this t-shirt, I just wear the whisk earrings. We call these the whisk earrings because it looks like the whisk. And my t-shirt says I get paid to uh, cook, eat, and party, Pampered Chef, okay? So if you're interested in Pampered Chef, please reach out to me. I'd love to help you get started on your own business or to get some free and discounted Pampered Chef into your house by becoming by hosting a party, okay? And if you say, oh, I have too much, all right, then host a share rewards. We do have a share rewards party going on right now. For every order, you get a discount. You get a discount for all the orders that are coming in, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, and if you need anything, that if you're watching this and there's no share rewards, then order on one of the host parties, okay? The link is in my profile, and I'll put it right here. Oh, we have 46 new messages, y'all. Good grief. All right. Uh, earrings make, I, I'm making some. I need to cut down on my sugar. Well, this is definitely cutting down on the sugar intake. There isn't any <laughs> besides the sugar, the natural sugar that occurs in bananas. How many uh, watts is the blender? Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea, girl. I don't think that's even on there on the, um, the, the information thing. Uh, but I can maybe find out for you. Uh, Jim in Chicago land. Oh my gosh, Jim, we're not going to Chicago for our uh, Pamper Chef conference. We're having a virtual this year. Maybe next year we can meet up. Okay. But we got to take care of that, that violence in that Chicago. Y'all, y'all are scaring me. Uh, the troll came back. I haven't, uh, I have been getting them. So Deb. thanks Deb. Good morning. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'm skipping the ads now. Monica, uh, says, hi, Hannah. I do occasionally definitely making this dessert. I need to, uh, an alternative, um, having a huge sweet tooth. All right. So 
Hello, Trey. How are you doing? Trey is my name. How are you doing? Hannah says, I think I should have talked to Starbucks barista for PC. They know so many people like customers. I ask if you post your business cards uh, on their public boards. Oh, I, oh, you think so? Oh, I think you should have talked to. <laughs> you should become a Starbucks barista. I got to go for a job somewhere like soon. Right. When I get out, we're going to Disney this week. OK, we're going to Disney on um uh, we'll be there next Friday. All right. That's the trip that I earned from Pampered Chef. And Bryce is coming down either Wednesday or Thursday. And then we're going to travel. Um, we're going to get up really early on Friday. Okay. And travel at three hours to Orlando and uh, check in or leave one of the vehicles because we're taking two vehicles because uh, Bryce has to leave earlier. And I'm staying for a few extra days. Um, and I'm going to go over and see Ron's Patty. We're going to have a party at Ron uh, at Patty's house. Okay. On Tuesday, the 22nd. So I'll be over um, broadcast from from uh, Patty's house okay Ron's Patty here on on haps and uh, from Periscope and, and on Facebook that's gonna be so so cool Disney call Brian too. call Brian I don't know who Brian is uh, is your mom going no my mom is staying at home she um, she's just not no no uh, she's gonna take care of Cooper all right. My brother, hopefully he's going to call him and ha have her, him check on my mom for the um, almost like six days. I'm going to be gone. You're only three hours from Disney. Oh, my. I would die. <laughs> I'm going to Disney. I'm going to Di I got to find my ears, y'all. I have no idea where I put the with the, where I put the Mickey Mouse ears. Uh, let's see. You know, love your mom. You know. You know your love. Okay, I, I say I know my mom. My, my mom. She. I haven't asked her because one of Bryce's friends uh, declined. So we have we have four tickets to Disney, and we're only using three. Okay, so yeah, uh, Disney is expensive. I know, Auntie. So this trip was earned through Pampered Chef in the year of 2019, and I became a director because of all of you um, uh, that December of 2019, and I earned the Disney trip. Uh, in January of uh, 2020 for the for that year, but COVID hit and they ex they canceled it and they said you can go whenever you want to go and it was scheduled for June, but I didn't um, do the tickets. You have to like um, pre order like when you're going to go to the park, and so we're going to um, Disney on Friday, Universal on Saturday, and Animal Kingdom on Sunday. And then we're transferring to another hotel for three days where my brother got us a hotel room. And so we're going to go down there and relax on, on that Monday and lay out at the pool and go to the sauna and stuff and just chill out. And then Tuesday, I'm going over to Ron's Patty's house and uh, having a party, a pepper chef party, an in-home party over at her house on the 22nd. Okay. And we'll be, I already have the menu up. I just have to give her the, the, uh, the shopping list to go get it. All right. So, oh, there's our, our lovely person. I'll be right back. We go get that lovely person. It's hard to keep up with this person. I tell you what, that was like number four that what I deleted on that account. Oh my gosh, it's unbelievable, right? So anyway, this troll is vicious. Yeah, he's going after it like Karen and Carol, and you know, you're like, oh my gosh, yeah. He just and Bryce, he had Bryce's name up there, and Bryce isn't Bryce's name isn't my last name, so that's that's okay. They're not gonna be able to find him. So anyway. <laughs> They just copying other. They are. They are. And the thing was, okay. So this person actually copied. Um, uh, they had Carol's photo on a brought on a an account here on Haps. All right. There, there were. They made an account on Haps and they followed me, and I reported it to Pablo, and I sent the link because it had Karen Sue's name in there, and, and I sent it to Karen, and I said, Karen, you need to block this person and uh to carol and carol sent the same message over to um pablo so yeah so it's it's just a copycat troll it's a copycat we just call this a copycat because he can't come up with original names 
<laughs> it's the funniest thing, actually, if you think about it. Uh, good for you. Nice perk. Yeah, it's a very good perk. Um, so I did all, all that dog walking I did for my brother. I saved like a good portion of it, like 75% of it was saved so that I have money to go to Disney. And that's how I'm going to Disney. All right. Um, on the on the cash from my brother. Uh, so that's good. And then uh, we also have another trip in August. It's a three nights down in Fort Lauderdale in which I'm going to be meeting up with Amy, Amy Globot, uh, and I are going to spend some time in Fort Lauderdale area. So that's pretty cool. I should ask her, let's have a party at your house. Because if I have a party at her house, my uh, travel distance, the distance is, is, is a tax write off. Just FYI. Just FYI, so I'm getting my, I can have my my Disney um, thing written off. Who's gonna cook for your mom? Well, that's a, that's the thing. We're we're gonna go grocery shopping, and she's she ha, she does open cans of of soup. She likes the old fashioned cans of soup, y'all. And hopefully, um, we'll have some stuff here made up for her, and my brother can come over and take care of her. Aiden, okay, it's his turn. It's his turn. All right, so he can come over and uh, take her out to dinner, or bring her and have dinner with her. So that's. Uh, that's, that's, that's my plan for it. Okay. There. <laughs> yes, it is. There you go. See that I've been, what we've been here six years, six years now. And, uh, you know, he can come over. Yeah. And I'm getting a break. I'm, I'm actually a little nervous about, about leaving, uh, you know, cause I, I haven't gone on a vacation in in a very, very long time very, very long time since before my dad passed, I, I took a vacation down to uh, Tampa to visit a friend and to visit, visit Brian. All right. So that was like a vacation from, from, from that. Uh, but has to go on a vacation with Bryce. We have never, ever gone on a vacation together overnight, overnight. Uh, we've gone to like, um, the college things. That was like a little vacation too. the overnight college stuff. We've, we've done that, but we've never gone. We've always done being a single mom. Okay. So this is the challenges of being a single mom. When you have two incomes, you have disposable income and you can do those nice little things and go to Cancun and take your kids here and take them there uh, for like a week vacation. But when you're a single mom, you don't have that discretionary income. And so we would do one day at, at, in the summer, we would go and do like a park day and it would be our vacation day. And we would like have, you know, uh, like hundred or $200 to spend on one day and we would do whatever we wanted. And the last day that we did this, um, the last, um, uh, before we left Pennsylvania, we took a bus trip to New York City and we, we spent the whole entire day. We got up like at three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. We, we uh, got on the bus at five, got there by seven or so and spent the entire day. We took the, the ferry around the Statue of Liberty, Liberty. I just wanted to see the Statue of Liberty. So that was always on my bucket list. I don't have to go inside of it, but I just wanted to see it. And so we went there and we went to the 9-11 site. We went to a magic shop and Bryce bought some magic. Uh, we ate at um, Hard Rock Cafe in New York City. And that was just so, that was just a fun day. It was just Bryce and I and uh, the streets of New York City. And we took the subway. We, I mean, we did a lot. We went to the public library because that's where the movie 2012 was fil filmed or part of it was. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it was so, and time, uh, Central Station, we went to Central Station. So we had a great time just walking the entire day. And that's, that is a singles mom day vacation. All right. Going somewhere. And then other vacations we did, we went to Dorney Park when we were up in Pennsylvania. We spent the whole entire day. Uh, what the first time I was, we were just Bryce and I, and the second time we invited one of his friends. I'm like, thank God you invite one of your friends, your kids, friends, and you don't have to go on all the rides. I'm like, bang them y'all. <laughs> I can see in your face. I've been to Hard Rock Cafe in New York and it was, and it was so, it was dark. It was very dark. And we, it's like, it was like a, a church dark. I think it was, it was an old church or something, right? I've always wanted to go to New York city. It's a very loud. It is not, it is not my cup of tea, but we wanted to go and visit all those sites. We saw central, um, uh, central park. We saw, um, and this is, what's that, what's that? NBC, um, you know, where the Rockefeller center, <laughs> like Rockefeller center. You know, so Rockefeller center is very far from the Statue of Liberty. Just, I'm just saying y'all, <laughs> but, but it, it was, it's, it was a lot of fun. These one day vacations are probably more near and dear and rememberable than having a whole week with them.
So it was, it was a lot of fun. You can see I'm tearing up on it, but anyway, that's, that's a, um, a single mom. So this is the first time taking Bryce on like a long vacation in a hotel room. <laughs> His girlfriend's coming too. Natalie's coming and, uh, that'll be a really good time to get to know her too. So yes, I've been there. And so if I don't want to go on the rides, they can go on the rides together <laughs> and Colorado and Colorado, the nine 11 museum is extraordinary. I didn't go in the museum. There was a very, very long line and we had a lot of stuff to get done, but there were, it was a long line to get in there, but just going there and standing in the, in there and seeing the fountains and how deep down the fountains are, it, it, it gives me chills today. It just gives you chills. How big and just massive it is. Hey there, Vanita. How are you doing? Don't think of it as men. It's amen. Okay. Phew. All right. I need some drink. I didn't even have a cup of coffee, y'all. We didn't set the timer, y'all, did we? Yes, we did. Alexa, how much time is on the timer? You have four minutes and 40 seconds left on your 22 minute timer. Thank God I set the timer, y'all. I probably set all of your timers over there too. Hey, if I need to go check my, my uh, YouTube, if that guy's created more accounts or that girl, let me know. I'm drinking the water. I would love to be in New York for Christmas. I would love to be in New York for Christmas too. We went in the summer. It was, mm, no, it was not quite summer. It was uh, beginning of June. We went in the beginning of June. It was hot. It was a nice day though. Goodness. Just checking on the YouTube account over there. Yeah, you set my timer. It's actually a good thing, Monica, if I set the timer for everybody in case you want to go out, you know, and, and look at something else or like, you know, go, go off this app and then your timer goes off and say, like, oh, Alexis, this thing's done. Let me come back in. I would actually do that. Hey, warrior grandma. How are you doing, girl? How's your walking? I got my walk. In. I didn't get all my walk in today because I got up late. And um, I probably got about 7,000 steps in, I think. Probably seven. I need to go out and finish it up. So let's put some coffee in here. All right. Got the coffee. Good to laugh, Strom. You want to go to Myrtle Beach? I heard it's not. I don't know. I... You know. The East Coast, I hate to say the Atlantic beaches aren't as pretty as the West Coast beaches, all right? And the West Coast of Florida, the Gulf, has more prettier water than the Atlantic side, in my opinion. Let me all know if you agree with that. I guess because I've lived, I've, went, I've been to Myrtle Beach, I've been to Virginia Beach, the Jersey Shore, the um, uh, Fire Island on Ro Long Island on New York. I've been there. Been out to, now, oh, one beach that's really nice. Uh, Newport, Rhode Island. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm sure Nant Nantucket would be a place that if somebody wants to take me on a vacation, let's go to Nantucket. Okay. Let's go to Providence Town in Nantucket. <laughs> it's 7.59. Uh, it is 11 o'clock here now. You going to take a nap? Yeah, cold water. Ah, oh, it's good to the last drop, y'all. This is my third glass. I got up this morning and I was running late and I said, well, I won't have a coffee right now. I'll drink a glass of water and do my walk. And I did my one hour walk because 10,000 steps takes me about an hour and a half, y'all. Fort Myers. Yeah, Fort Myers is, is on there. Florida Estevarno Boulevard is the best beach here. White sand, y'all. I drink cold water every day. You know what? I just drink water. So, sometimes it's sitting out. It's like, oh, I I don't want to waste this water because this is our filtered water that we um, pump. All right. It's my favorite thing too. Oh, you know what I got? Oh my gosh, y'all. I got myself an adult beverage. I'm going to show you what my adult beverage is. Club <laughs> soda, y'all. I feel like I'm going to be an adult. I got club soda. It was like a buck. It was like a buck. And it's, it has the fizzy, it's fizzy water. It's like Perrier, it's Perrier only generic. Okay. So 
this is great. This is really, really good, y'all. This is so good. I'm like, I'm in heaven, but I, I got to drink all this. So, put it back. My timer should be, my timer should be coming off right now, y'all. Oh my goodness. Let's get our, our, um, uh, mat out. Oops. Cooling rack. We all need a cooling rack. Okay. Soda water. It's delicious. There's no sugar in it. And it, and if you put a lime in it, it makes you look like you're having a gin and tonic. Okay. Just saying that if you want to like think that people, you, you're like, you're having people think you're drinking the gin and tonic, just put a lime in there and you're good to go. Alexa, turn the timer off. All right. Let's see how this is. Oh, I need a, I need a, I need, we're going to help her. I'm Mr. Left and I'm Miss Right. And together we're with the grip team. Yay. Let's go help her out. See how it's looking. All right, I'm gonna leave it in. It's still a little, it's still a tad, a little bit. Three more minutes, okay? Because we put it in there for 22 minutes. All right, I'm gonna put it in for actually four more. Alexa, set the timer for four minutes. Four minutes, starting now. Y'all love it. Hello, hello, Mike. Mike, have you been walking? Did you have a good birthday, Mike? Mike. Yeah, Mike had a good birthday. We saw the stuff posted. <laughs> Alexis comedy show. You got to have some comedy in here, right? While we're waiting stuff to cook. Sip of coffee. I already have my first one, y'all. I think I cheated on you. <laughs> I have my big, I got big mitts. I got big mitts too. <laughs> Let me get the big mitts. I think they're down here. Oh, well, we found one. I don't know where the other one is, y'all. The other one's lost. Here. These are the big mitts. These are the big babies, okay? <laughs> I got the big mitts. No, these are the medium sized mitts, actually. These are medium mitts, all right? And then these, now this one, I'm, I'm only bringing one out, y'all, because I have everything else in the drawer here. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of like doing stuff with my drawer. I got my too many chargers down there. This one is. Doesn't this look like a cactus? This is the big mitt. This is the big mitt. Blaine, we got the big mitt here. I don't wear, and this is, this is actually European size. They had to change the size of the mitts because it had to fit European regulations. So if this is actually European design, y'all. So people in, um, Switzerland, uh, no, Austria, Austria, Germany, and France can sell these babies. Okay. So that's what we got those. And then we have the shark, the medium one here. And then my fave, Mr. Left. And that's right. And together we make the microwave grip team. Yay! <laughs> Wait, we should do the llama. The llama one. Is, is Blaine still here? The llama work. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Let me get that. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, wait. Let's do it this way. I'm trying to do the llama for, Lane, for Blaine. I can't. I maybe change the hands. Listen, I got, I got the, the, uh, I got the stuff. Oh, I don't, I think I put the other ones away. I still have the, t the thing over here. I don't know. What, I don't know what my, my lights, my lights under here have died on me. I, I go buy more Christmas lights, but Christmas isn't around. I'm sure they're going to put Christmas out it next month. All right. So we got the llama awards here. All right. Here, llama. We can do it this way. Llama. Oh my gosh. So anyway, we only have a few more minutes. We're, oh, Blaine, uh, do you like, are you okay with bananas? We made a banana dessert that is healthy and it's delicious and it's super easy to make. If you have a blender, put it in the blender. Okay. It's four bananas 
and six tablespoons of uh, cocoa powder. And then I put in um, a couple tablespoons of the coat of the pea protein to make it a little bit healthier. And I also added uh, one teaspoon of vanilla in it. All right. And it's cooking and it depends upon the, the container that you bake it, that if you, if you bake it in a longer one, it's going to take less time. If you bake it in a denser, like a smaller container, it's going to take you more time. Um, so you just pray that all the banana and the mixture up in your blender, pour it into a bowl and you're good to go. P bake it for about 22, 20, 22 to 25 minutes. Alexa, stop the timer. All right. So I got to get this thing out of the oven now, y'all, without hurting myself. Alexa, stop the timer. All right, so when it comes out, it's going to be still be jiggling, all right? It's not going to be dry consistency, You don't, so you don't use, it, use a cake tester on this one. So Blaine, yeah, Blaine gave me the llama. Blaine gave me this, Melanie. He was in my house. Bl Blaine's been in my house. This is from Blaine and, and uh, uh, Wilson. They were in my house. Yeah, we did a whole show here, a two-hour show, two-hour tour. Okay, let's get this thing out before I burn it. All right. uh, it's looking beautiful. Just beautiful. All right. So again, just two ingredients, but I added pea protein to make it a little bit extra healthy for me. Because uh, when you eat protein, it fills you up and you don't have those empty calories. Okay. Yes, I see that. <laughs> it was a good show. I love that show. All right. So we have this in here. All right. I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to angle it down so you can see what it looks like. Okay. Oops. There we go. Flip you over. There we go. It ha it's still, if I put my um, cake tester and releaser inside, it's probably going to come out like, well, it's coming out pretty clear, but it does, it is a little jiggly. It's not like, Hot, hot, and we have it in the parchment so you can be able to take it out. But you can see it's it's it jiggles in there. It's like Jello. It's like the consistency of Jello. All right, uh, and it's gonna firm up, and uh, then you put it in your refrigerator. You're gonna let this cool at room temperature for about an hour, and then you put it in your refrigerator for about two hours. All right, and then we're gonna make a topping for this uh, when we come back at seven o'clock tonight, and we're gonna put in the maple syrup. Uh-oh, Benita says, broadcast anytime, don't matter. She had a lot of viewers that honestly loved her. Oh, I think you have to redo that one, Benita. That was a, um, you just sent it to me. All right, so, and we're going to use, so the the, the um, coating, it's like a, oh, what are we doing? We're going to use the cocoa uh, coconut oil. All right, so if you want to go out and make this and then come back, get coconut oil, the, the one, the, the firm one, okay? and some maple syrup, and we're gonna use some cocoa powder, and we're gonna make a fudge topping for this. All right, so that's that's how we're gonna do with that. So anyway, that's, that's uh, let me see, I do have one more thing I wanted to show you because tonight we're coming in and um, doing chocolate ice cream, <sighs> and it's also a healthy dessert. Let me see, I can put this one over on the other side. There we go. And we're gonna use bananas. Okay, we're gonna use another banana. All right. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get prepped some of this. I still have to go to the grocery store and get two more bananas for this this thing, or at least one more banana. I'm gonna go probably get one more banana. I don't need that much banana ice ice cream. Because you have to eat the ice cream at the same time. All right, so you're gonna get your banana and we're gonna make them into coin size using our quick slice. And it slices it into one quarter of an inch. So there we go. We're gonna get a stoneware. All right. And we're going to put that parchment that we had left over and we're going to put our bananas on here and we're going to freeze our bananas for later on today. Okay. And I got to get one more banana in my house or two small ones. All right. And this is where those extra pieces of parchment come in that you can um, put them because you want your, your bananas coin size. So it, we're going to put this in the blender. All right. Put that in there. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to come back and, and there. a little piece and one little piece right there. All right, so we're gonna get our bananas and freeze bananas. You're gonna get about three bananas. Uh, I'm probably gonna do two bananas because I, I don't wanna have any leftovers. All right. And you're gonna freeze it. I'll put another layer of parchment on here 
and I'll freeze the bananas just like this so that we can come back and make another banana chocolate dessert. All right. So <laughs> this dessert here helps me uh, with my chocolate. It is, it's, it's slightly sweet. All right. Uh, it has the more bitter chocolate taste, uh, if, especially if you use the dark chocolate on here and we're going to put a little cho cho the chocolate topping on top of it also. All right. Best cooking scope. Loved it. So Vanita, thank you, Vanita. All right. So this was a really simple, easy dessert uh, that you can make. And again, I made it by hand. We mashed it up using the masher. You can put it in a blender, mixer, whatever you want to do, um, food processor, and uh, do a four large bananas with six tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. And that's all it is. You're going to bake it in an oven at 350 degrees uh, in a four by eight inch loaf pan with parchment paper. Okay. I put it in my leak proof container because when this cools down, I'm going to take this parchment off and I'll put a new parchment on it because it's now I can like just gently lift this up. Not right now, but it's because it's still setting, setting. Um, but we can lift it up. All right. And, uh, it's going to, you know, bake it for about 20, 25 minutes. Uh, put the uh, recipe on my VIP page. It's already here on HAPS. So you can, um, uh, look at the recipe, uh, that's on HAPS for it. Okay. Uh, bye hon. Bye. Bye. Hello, sweet sister. How are you doing? All right. So I think we're all done. I got it done in, in an hour y'all. <laughs> Blaine just threw you two dollars. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Blaine. I missed that one. I didn't go back. I saw Vanita's red thing come up here. Uh, thank you for the Llama Day Award. Hey, let's do the Llama Day. We gotta do the Llama Day. All right, wait a minute. I gotta do the real Llama Day. All right, the real Llama Day. More music. This is Blaine's thing. Okay. A cucaracha, a cucaracha, a cucaracha. Yay! Llama Day. Uh, how did he do that? I'm the worst. <laughs> I'm better at that. Okay. So that, that's Blaine for us. That's for Blaine. <laughs> that's the funniest thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Flip us back down. Oh, flip the camera. Flip the camera. There we go. All right. So we got our chocolate dessert done. This is a healthy uh, dessert that's made with chocolate. I was very um, concerned when I was going to broadcast and make a dessert with chocolate. Um, and I looked at different recipes and I was like, man, I, I already lost 50 pounds. I don't need to, to, um, eat stuff that has a lot of Weight Watcher points or that's just unhealthy. And this is definitely on my diet. Okay. And it'll probably take me about three days to eat this. Yeah. One, two, three, three days. Okay. Um, I'm, who's, who's, who am I kidding? Right? Yeah. My mom's not into it, but I don't think she is. I'm not even sure. If, I, I can't remember her reaction on this one. Do the llama dances on, on B. Yeah, we did. We did. We did. Thank you, Blaine. Let's see. Thank you, um, uh, Vanita, for the super hard award. I have a great day. I'll watch the ending later. Yeah, the ending is going to be at seven o'clock tonight, East Coast time. Okay. Looking uh, looks great, Alexis. Thank you. Hello, sweet sister. There we go. Oh, yeah, Alexis. Um, three. There we go. Thank you. And thanks for all the moderators for our our copycat troll. All right, I really appreciate y'all. Okay. Um, better yesterday. I would say, Oh, Marsha. Oh no, no, no. I didn't puree up that soup yet. Marsha. It's in my, uh, I may do that this afternoon because it doesn't look as colorful as it did yesterday. Uh, it looks yummy says Hannah. Yummy says Janice. Alexis looks good. Mom may like that. I think she might. I'm not sure. She's not a big chocolate fan either. She, she likes her pound cake and cheesecakes. Uh, thank you, Marsha for the hap, haps hug award. Thank you. This time I've lost 15 pounds so far, says Warrior Grandma. Awesome. I'm up to 50, but I got to keep it off. I still have another like 2.4. As of this morning, I weighed in at 144.5. And my goal, my personal goal is 142. My, I've reached my Weight Watcher goal. Uh, we kept it at the high end just in case. Okay. So we got that one. Hey there, Vanita. Thank you for the super hard award. Uh, one day to eat. You deserve another. No, well, we got that. Um, uh, Disney park, uh, Disney park coming up. So I got to really be careful what I'm eating now. So I, I don't overeat them. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Monica for the yummy award. Uh, I want some 15 pounds. That's great. I know. Isn't that any weight is great. You should shower her with awards says Hannah. Shower. <laughs> Thanks. So anyway, we got our, our delicious banana and I just call this, uh, a chocolate dessert. Okay. It, the original recipe says brownies. 
but it does not have the contexture. It, if you're looking for a brownie, this is not it. But if you're looking for a chocolate dessert, then this is it. It's a very healthy. There's no flour, no eggs, no sugar in here. All it is is two ingredients, which is originally um, bananas and cocoa powder. However, I added pea protein, which thickens it up. Okay. And I added vanilla this time. I didn't add the vanilla the last time. Okay. I already did. I bought a slot of a slot, a lot, a slot of PC products. There you go, Hannah. Tell Benita she needs to buy, buy a garlic press before she goes over to um, uh, Australia because they don't have that there. Oh. All right, y'all. Thanks for coming in. I really appreciate it. Up next, we have our, our um, at 12 noon, we have a little break. So go have some lunch right now. Have an early lunch or breakfast. We have Brenda87 from Ohio coming in. Then we have Jay Opera in Branson, Missouri. Then at 2 o'clock, Gemma over the United Kingdom is coming in, probably with her, her son, Thomas. And we have Anne Rush and Swift Beats at 3 in the United Kingdom and Denmark. Mike Costi, please follow Mike Costi. If he's here, put up some emojis so you can follow Mike at 4 p.m. At 5 p.m., we have the Canadian team of uh, Daniel Frost Frosto and Lizzie Bear in, in uh, ca uh, oh, Canada and California, I think. Maybe that, maybe Canada. All right, and then Darby Jones is in Colorado. And then I'm back at seven to finish up this dessert and do up an ice cream because this will eat this next three days. Okay. And then we have DJ from down under at eight o'clock and chocolate Johnny from Periscope at nine o'clock tonight. We started to the today's chocolate haps with Aiden Leeds over in the United Kingdom and he made a delicious brownie and chocolate mousse and then Zen Squad and her little mini me uh, daughter came in uh, at, at uh, nine o'clock this morning and they made a sweet potato uh, chocolate dessert. Okay. I don't know what was, what it was called. There's Mike with his ducks there. Please follow Mike and anybody else that's, that's broadcasting today, please put in your, your emoji so people can follow you. Okay. Alexis, I get the minced garlic from the store. No, Vanita. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay. So Hannah says I lost 15 pounds. My tra trainer told me that I need to need a break. There you go. We all need a little break from sometimes when we're doing our, our diets. Okay. And my break was last week when I had the migraine. Okay. But we got the migraine settled. We got the medication for it and we got our, our, so I'm really excited about that. All right. My computer don't have emojis. I know mine doesn't have it either. I don't, I can't figure that out. I have to watch everything on my phone. All right. So thanks for coming in, everybody, and spending a little bit of your time. We'll see you in about uh, uh, 40 minutes at the next broadcast for Brenda87. All right. Make sure you subscribe to the channels and uh, reach out and uh, join my VIP page. We do have the Share Rewards Party going on where you get a discount on your on your Pampered Chef order or order on any of the host parties if you're watching after a Share Rewards Party. Okay. So thanks for coming in. I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.